The Alexander Technique is a body technique that ensures physical well-being by retraining one's awareness and habits of posture to ensure minimum strain and effort. So it helps you identify and lose the harmful habits that you have built up over a lifetime of stress and it teaches you how to move more freely and more efficiently in your body. So with the Alexander Technique, we start with observation and awareness. So what am I doing? What is my body doing? Does my chin jut out or do I tuck it under? Do I keep my shoulders closed in front or do I pull them up and tense them underneath my ears? Do I let my torso collapse down into my hips? Do I tuck my pelvis under or do I stick it out? All of this is the first step of understanding what I'm doing, what are my bad habits. The second step of Alexander is inhibition, so inhibiting the old bad habits so that you can allow for the new habits to come in, so to stop the bad habits. The third step with Alexander is direction, directing your body into a new position, in a new direction, into new positive habits. Alexander outlines four directions in what he calls his concepts of good body use. The first one is to let the neck be free and to let the head be forward and up away from the top of the spine. To do this, there's an exercise called the string, the lengthened string. And what you can imagine is that there is a string that runs up inside the arches of your feet all the way up through the inside of your calves, through the inside of your thighs, up through the center of your body, and out through the crown of your head. The crown of your head is not here on your forehead. It's not back here. It's right here at the top center part of your head. Mine comes to a point. And I want you to imagine that there is a string coming out of that, and there's someone above you. It could be God, or a bird, or a puppeteer that is pulling that string. And when they pull that string, you're free, you're released. Everything can move, there's no tension, there's, it's relaxed, and everything is lengthened. This is the idea with Alexander, that everything is lengthened and neutral. There's no tension, and there's no collapsing. So think about the string pulling you up, and your neck is free, and your head is free forward and up away from the top of your spine. To make sure that your head is forward and up, you can think about yawning. So I want you to yawn backwards. And then let your chin tuck down and forward until your chin is parallel to the ground. So it's gonna be a little lower than you would expect normally. So I yawn back and then I tuck my chin forward and make sure it's parallel to the ground. This is the idea of the neck being free and the head being up and forward away from the top of your spine. Alexander's second concept of good body use is to let the torso lengthen and fan into width. This is a strange concept, but I want you to think about your, your ribs and your lungs as an accordion that open and close, right? right? Your, your ribs, if we collapse them down into our hips, close. And in fact, it's very difficult to breathe when you are very collapsed like this because your ribs don't have much space to expand and let the, the air come in, let your breath in. So the idea is that you're lengthening up, like the string, the lengthened string tells you to do. You're lengthening your torso up, out of your hips, and then you let the ribs open and fan into width so that there is breadth here, breadth with a D, not breath, and that you allow the breath to come in. Another um, great, idea with this is that your ab muscles, your abdominal muscles, are engaged. Because if your ab muscles are engaged, that means your whole core is working to keep your torso up. And it protects it and it makes you stronger. If you walk around all day long with your, ab, your abdominal muscles engaged, you never will have to do crunches or sit-ups again. So that's number two. The third concept of good use is to let the legs release away from the hip joint. Now, what does Alexander mean by that? He means that he wants you to have full, a full range of motion in your hips. He wants all of the muscles around your hips to be free. So a way to find that is to find the neutral pelvis. Uh, a lot of us tuck our pelvis under and we stay like this, which puts a lot of, of pressure on your back and it underuses your lower back muscles. A lot of us tuck our pelvis out 
and stick our bottom out a little bit, which means we're overusing our, our lower back muscles. We want to find what's in the middle, the neutral, the neutral pelvis. So you can literally do the two extremes. Tuck your, your pelvis all the way out, and now tuck it all the way under, and now find what's in the middle. Use the string to lengthen up, and you have the neutral pelvis, and your hips and legs are free. Okay, that's number three. The fourth and last concept of good body use is to allow the shoulders to release out to the side and float on the rib cage. How do we find this position? You can take your shoulders and bring them all the way forward, all the way back, up to your ears, open your palms, and release them everything down on a breath, <sighs> on an exhale. Now, your shoulders are open, your torso's engaged, your abs are engaged, your palms are open though, which looks strange, so now just release your palms and let them close. This is the openness that we want. Our shoulders are open and they're floating right on top of the rib cage. So at this point, everything is neutral. Our neck and head, our shoulders, our torso, and our hips and pelvis. Those are the four concepts of good bodily use. We're lengthened and neutral.